In this tutorial, I will explain and show an example of how Inherit State can save you a huge amount of time and requires absolutely no VB scripting or code writing. When you use Inherit State, a transition start frame can take on any attribute of the final frame played on the previously running transition. To easily show this, I'm going to bring in a bitmap of Europe. The bitmap is a little over 4,000 scan lines wide and 2,300 scan lines in height. Because it is so big, I can zoom it out and make it look full frame in the canvas, and then zoom into any city without going out of focus. In the default transition timeline, I'll scale it down to about half the normal size. There are seven different cities that are already labeled on the map. To show the power of Inherit State, I want to create eight different transition timelines, the eighth being a reset one that will zoom the map back out. Before Inherit State, I would have to either create 8 times 8 or 64 transition timelines, or ask someone to write some VB script or code for me. Well, I do not know how to write code, and I am definitely not creating 64 transition timelines. This is how easy it is with Inherit State in Lyric Pro. First of all, let's create the eight transitions. The first one I'll label as London, then Stockholm, Berlin, Rome, Madrid, Paris, Moscow and the reset one. Now let's add the map to each of the transitions. While I am doing this, all I have to do is check the Inherit State box. Let's open up the states to see what this is. You can add any attribute you want like X and Y position or X and Y scale, but for this example I will just leave all the attributes selected. Berlin is done. Now London and check Inherit State, Madrid, Moscow, Paris, the reset transition, Rome, and finally Stockholm. Now let's apply some quick animation to each. Let's go to the end keyframe of Berlin. I'll reset the scale and then move Berlin into place. Now do the same for each of them. Reset London and move it over to London. Click on Madrid and hit reset and move Madrid into place. Reset Moscow. Reset Paris. And for the reset one, I will make the second keyframe be the same as the first because the reset will zoom the map back out. Then Rome. And finally Stockholm. One more thing I want to do. We are going to use the Playout Properties panel to control each of these transitions. I want to make sure that only the ones needed are visible. The only one not needed is the default transition. It is easy to turn it off in the transition properties. Just uncheck the visible on playout panel and that is it. We are done. Now let's play it to the output. Now go to the playout properties. There are buttons labeled with all the city names that we just made. Click on the Berlin button and the map zooms into Berlin. Click on the Moscow button and the map automatically travels over to Moscow. Click the reset button and the map zooms back out. You can see pressing any button will automatically animate the map to the ending frame we adjusted in each transition timeline. Going from London to Paris to Stockholm to reset to Rome all works as if we spent hours or days creating all the possibilities but as you can see it only took us less than five minutes. Now that you can see how easy it is, let's look at a more graphical intense weather conditions scene. This one has all the same cities and when you zoom into them, 
a QuickTime movie of the weather condition will appear along with the city name and temperature. To quickly update the movie, just click Alt-T and click on the Movies tab and you can see that very easily you can select any one of the weather condition movies for these scenes. And then click on the Text tab and fill in the temperatures. The possibilities are endless and you do not have to be a script or a code writer to create stunning looking scenes like this. Inherit State, the designer's dream tool from Lyric Pro.